I'm on my way to go meet Josh Lopez setting up the EC office. This is Joshua Lopez. He's an old friend, fellow noob. He's also a lobbyist for small businesses in DC. Now, his job takes him everywhere across the globe. And since he's a political junkie at heart, he consistently uncovers stories that need to be told. So he's gonna be heading up a weekend update show, premiering early next year. But for now, we gotta work on the basics, which means getting the DC studio in check. Stay tuned. It goes on around the fucking world all the time. He only spends like two weeks in fucking DC. Josh no. Lopez. The Electoral College is going to be voting today. There's been a little bit of a push by the Colorado voters. They're pushing to try to influence enough electors who go toward Hillary, any of the third party voters, just any vote other than Trump. And what that will do, in essence, is either hand the election over to Hillary or at least take away enough votes to make it so that no candidate has won. And if that happens, then there'll be a special runoff election. These electors are called faithless electors. The whole idea is that they can vote whatever the yeah. they want. Doesn't matter what the state actually votes for. When it gets to electoral college, the likelihood of that happening is just minimal. So, just got out the uh, DC HR job fair. It's only 40 slots. These types of events, and they attract thousands, and they sold out in, like, I think, less than 24 hours. These sort of events happen frequently in large metropolitan areas. It's the most direct way of lowering unemployment while still building up an infrastructure. However, the demand is often exponentially higher than the supply. Studies have already shown that increasing the number of city jobs directly impacts the most vulnerable of residents. That includes the working poor, single parents, people who are homeless, people receiving public assistance, you name it. For some reason, we don't do enough of that. Like I said before, the demand severely outstretches the supply. Why don't we invest more into that? I don't know. Just something to think about.